Thank you, Mrs. Levitt, for taking the time to come talk with us. I'm Detective Baird, and this is my partner, Detective Gregory. It's my understanding you're not originally from here, is that correct? No. Noah, senor. Now, Mrs. Levitt. Michaela. My name is Michaela. I'd prefer it if you called me by my name. My apologies. Michaela, where are you originally from then? I was born and raised in a small excuse for a house, out along a long and quiet stretch of road. Must have been lonely on there. I had my family. I prefer the peaceful solitude. No siblings, just you and your parents, correct? Yes. What did your parents do for work? My father was a war veteran, and my mother was unemployed. They both were, actually. Survive of your father's pension, I gather? Embarrassingly enough, yes. Nothing embarrassing about that. Your father did a great service to this country. Now, would you describe your relationship as good? As good as it could be. It says here that your mother suffered from schizophrenia and that she left you when you were just a child, six years of age. Seven. Um, I was seven when she left. That must have been tough for you. Having your mother leave just like that with no warning could create scars. I am who I am because of them. And that would be... I'm sorry, but did you guys bring me all the way down here just so you could ask me questions about my parents? What about your relationship with your father? What about it? I don't know. Was he a good father? I don't exactly have anyone to compare him to. How well did he handle your mother leaving? As well as anyone would. And that would be? Well, he was there for me when she couldn't be. Or wouldn't be, by the sounds of it. Does that really matter? You don't seem too keen to talk about your parents, huh? I guess I'm just confused as to why that even matters. It's kind of for us to decide now, isn't it? You really want to know the kind of people my parents were? My father was a cold and emotionless drunk. I don't know if he was always that way or if he became that way after the war. I don't know, it doesn't matter. And my mother was an ill and deranged woman. Did he try to find her? Excuse me? Your father. Did he go looking for your mother? Why does that matter? We've looked into your mother's files. After that night, she disappears. There's not one record of her past that point. Seems a little odd, doesn't it? Why don't you tell me? What happened that night your mother left? I don't know. You must know something. How was she acting? What was your father doing? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. You must remember something. I guess. I remember my father passed out like he always was. And what about your mother? I don't know. I was already in bed by then. The last thing I remember is my father's truck turning on and him heading off. Your memory doesn't seem too bad to me. Your father left you home alone in the middle of the night just like that. Yep. Do you remember the last time you saw your mother? No. I barely remember her face.
her head, it wasn't right. Get out of the truck. I said get out of the truck! Now! Do you think your father killed your mother? Yes. Yes, I do. 